Hi everybody, it's Tatiana and today I am coming with quite a substantial birthday haul. It's not just books. So I'm going to go ahead and get into this otherwise this story, this story video will be as long as I don't know what. So, uh, we will start with it. I'm not going to show everything that I got as a gift, but I have to show this because I got this from a friend of mine. And my friends know me so well, although it doesn't take a lot to know me because a lot of the things that I'm interested in, I'm pretty much an open book about. Uh, but yeah, she got me this badass gothic tumbler, not tumbler, chalice with unicorns on it. I absolutely, I don't even know how well you can see that. Hold on. Look at that. I absolutely love it. And I can actually drink out of it. I told her I am drinking everything out of this. And so, yeah. Uh, I absolutely love unicorns. It's not a secret. They're all over my house. They're on my body. It's not a secret that I love unicorns. So. The next thing that I got that is not book related, I got from a company and I have styrofoam everywhere. I probably have it on my face. No, I don't. I got from a company called Freaker USA. Can you see that? Yes, you can. Okay. And this is what it is. I got these cute koozies. I got one for myself and one for my friend, Mary. Uh, from the store when I was in Tennessee for my sister's wedding. And what's great about these koozies is that they are one size fit all. So while it looks like it fits a little bottle or like a beer bottle or something, it actually fits this. And all you gotta do, get it on, and it stretches out. And I am absolutely in love with this. This, they have different ones that are different themes. This one's called Alpha Kale instead of Alpha Male. And we both, Mary and I do a lot of green smoothies. So I got us both one of these. And I got my nephew one while we were there and I cannot remember which one I got him. But after using mine for a week, cause I didn't start using it until after I gave Mary hers, I decided that I wanted to order some more. So I went to their website, which I will link below. This is not a sponsored video. I have paid for everything. Uh, it came with a little message saying thank you. And their website is so cute. But I got two more. One is called Divine Apple, which is a pineapple with wings. And I absolutely love pineapples. It's probably my most favorite fruit. I just can't eat it as much as I would like to because the citrus breaks me out after maybe a pineapple and a half so yeah and then I got unicorn on a cob I was so excited when I saw this one and I think this one okay my uh, memory card filled up but as I was saying one of these was on sale and I cannot remember which one it was because I did not get an itemized bill which is fine uh, but one of these was on sale for $4.99, the other one was $11.99, but they're all so cute. They are well, in my opinion, well worth the money. They all have like a play on words. They have so many different kinds. They have some that are uh, high, not high school, college themed, uh, and some that are sports related like the Alpha Kale, as well as the cute little... Divine Apple and Unicorn on the Cob. I mean, it's just so cute. And yeah, I had to convince myself to take it down because there were a couple of uh, risque ones that I was looking at getting, but I had to remind myself that I don't need four or five of these. Like, three would do it because then I could keep one at home, have one in on the bottle that I carry uh, along with me. Um, that's not double walled and then one in my pocketbook just in case so yeah That's what I got check out the website below it. They're so adorable. Okay. That's it for the non bookish thing The other thing that I got that I have been debating about getting for a long time is a New Kindle yo this Kindle is so small <laughs> in comparison to my second generation Kindle 
but it it's the perfect size, but it's not the perfect size because my second generation Kindle does fit in my uh, pocketbook as well. But I ordered the Kindle as well as the case, and the only reason why I wanted to order the newer Kindle is because of the Wi-Fi. Um, because the second generation Kindle, I guess, was done before all of the changes and things that have gone on with Wi-Fi. It was not Wi-Fi capable. It does have 3G, but you cannot download ebooks from the library through the 3G internet. You can only do it with Wi-Fi. So that is why I ordered this Kindle. And I kind of had to talk to myself and really consider whether or not ordering a $80 media device was worth it just to borrow library books. But my new books that I buy on Kindle would be downloaded, can be downloaded on here as well as transferred between the two Kindles. And also this will help keep me from going into the library as often as I was. And that will help me do more reading of the books on my shelf. So I'm super excited about this. I did get the one with advertisements. I don't have a problem with that because all I have to do is when I open it, just swipe it. Um, I also got, I'm not going to show them to you. If you follow me on Snapchat, then you saw them. But I had, I bought three new plant babies this year as well. And what's keeping my eyes pointed over this way is I had one of them has a spider web on them, which is freaking me the fuck out. Because I don't like spiders. So I will kill them, but I need to get rid of that spider web. And I'm going to do that as soon as I finish recording this video. So on to the book. From Ollie's, I picked up. Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. This is just to really see what it's about. I've been intrigued about this series since I first joined BookTube. Everybody was reading this at that time. And yeah, so when I need a quick YA read, I will pick this up. And I also got Fried Green Tomatoes and The Whistle Stop Cafe by Fanny Flagg. I have seen the movie years ago and the thing, the scene that sticks out to me most in the movie is the saran wrap scene. But yeah, I wanted to read this. A couple of the people that I follow on BookTube read this maybe last year or the year before last and really enjoyed it. And so yeah, I want to pick this up. Then, in my city, a new bookstore has recently opened, like within the last few months or so. I heard about it a couple of months ago, and I didn't have a chance to get to it until this month because I took some time off <laughs> uh, out of my normal activities. So, from there, I got Kingdom Come and Glorious Appearing by Tim LaHaye and Jim Jerry B. Jenkins. I am working on putting together and owning the rest of the Left Behind series and now that I have these two, there are only two more that I am missing, so then I will own the complete series. I kind of wanted to get Glorious Appearing in paperback, but I have not been able to find it anywhere, so having walked into the bookstore and seeing it, period, and then having it in hardback, that came secondary, so I went ahead and picked that up. I also picked up Persepolis by Marjane Satrapi. I don't know if I'm saying that right or not. And this is, yeah, this has been on my list for a while. And now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know if this is the entire work or the first volume. But yeah, it says introduction. So yeah, I picked this up. I got The Book of Speculation by Erica Swyler. And yeah, this is a recent this is a recent release. It's not a new release, but it's a recent release that a lot of people have been talking about and so it's piqued my interest and when I saw it for 99 cents, I picked it up. I also got Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. I was going to order this from the library and just download it straight to my Kindle, but yeah, I, w I wanted, when I saw it, I was like, screw it and have your own copy and we'll see what happens from there. I don't think I'm going to go see the movie. I am not into the tearjerker kind of movie, but the tearjerker kind of book, I like. I'm totally scared that this little pack is going to flip over because Vampire Academy, which is the smallest book in the stack, is on the bottom. 
not smart. Then I lucked out in finding something that I have been wanting to purchase for the last Hell, since I bought them, maybe the last 10 years, I really wanted to purchase this series and I just hadn't because the cost of the entire series to get at one time was more than what I wanted to pay. And then I walked into the new store and the whole I, could, I got the whole series for $8. And that is the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants series. And again, I don't care that the fourth one is in hardback, but yeah, I have books. One. One, two, three, and four. So that is a good thing. I've read all four of them and I just, I really loved that series. When Walden Books was open, it was one of the books that every year when they did, they, they did a drive, a book drive every year for underprivileged kids. And what you could do is buy a book to donate to that book drive and every year just about I bought and donated the first book in the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants series because I just like enjoyed the series so much. I have not read the fifth book. As far as I'm concerned, the book stops here. I may read it sometime in the future. Whether or not I decide to buy it will totally be determined upon how decent that book is in comparison with what happens in these books or what happened in these books. And the last few books I got from Amazon, one I have been wanting for quite some time and was a little bit surprised when I saw how tiny it is, but that is Blood Child and Other Short Stories by uh, Octavia Butler. And this will make the last and final book of her writing that I own. This is it. So I officially own them all. I also purchased The Inquisition by Tara Matharu. I read The Novice last year, loved it, and The Inquisition came out this month, so this month or last month. So I went ahead and picked it up. I cannot wait to read this because the way that The Novice left off, I know that shit's about to hit, about to hit the fan, so I'm so excited. Lastly, I bought Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. I finished the Grisha trilogy. Uh, this year, uh, earlier this year, I think in March, I think, uh, and I had decided that I was going to wait to purchase this until I finished the Grisha trilogy to see how I felt like she handled that series before I jumped into another series of hers, and I was really, really pleased with how the Grisha trilogy ended. It felt like an ending. It was not dragged on. The series wasn't five stars, but the ending was, the way that it came to a conclusion was great in my book as far as why a series endings go. So as a result of me enjoying that so much, I decided that I would pick up Six of Crows. And so I got that. And like this in itself was enough to make me pick up the books. That, that's why I had to coach myself into not just going ahead and picking it up because I absolutely love this feature, the black edges of the pages. I just love it. So, yeah. And so, yeah, that's all. Thank you all for watching and I hope you all have a good week, weekend, whenever you see this video. Peace out.